So now, we have what I usually use for a demonstration circuit when we have an NPN bipolar junction transistor voltage follower, which is actually an emitter follower. So voltage follower, we'd have the same voltage across the load that we set in this case with the trim pot, and um, that's our voltage at the output of the trim pot right there. You get all the way up to uh, five volts or down to zero volts, and there you can see the LED got uh, brighter. So in any case, I'm gonna try to get to about uh, four volts. So the voltage we set here gets transferred to the LED, and that's pretty good, uh, four volts there. Um, and uh, gets transferred to the LED, but not perfectly because it's an NPN bipolar junction transistor. It's not, uh, you know, an op amp where it can give the exact same voltage out. There you can see we lost about 0.7 volts is what we expect, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts because of the base two emitter drop. Whatever we uh, set will be transferred, but you'll have that drop about 0.6 or 0.7 volts less. So now, here's the schematic diagram for my NPN bipolar junction transistor emitter follower. So when you hear emitter follower, you're going to have the base voltage at the emitter, but you're going to lose that base to emitter drop, about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts. Hopefully that makes sense. For my load, I just used a red LED, because you can see it light up right there, 220 ohm. And um, higher voltage, of course, the brighter it gets. And of course, you need enough voltage to get to light in the first place. This 10K resistor going to ground helps uh, set the voltage. But the main premise is, um, with the trim pot, you can set like any voltage uh, between zero and five volts there. And uh, that gets transferred, but you got base two emitter drop. You gotta be aware of that. And now the trim pot cannot provide the power by itself at that voltage. That's one reason why you uh, use a circuit like this. Instead, the uh, power comes from the supply right there. The uh, transistor lets whatever current through is needed to maintain that voltage, the uh, base voltage minus about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts. So now, since I'm breaking these up into shorts, I'm kind of uh, speeding through each one of these. But uh, here, I just have a general schematic for an NPN bipolar junction transistor emitter follower. I didn't put a part number in. You got to pick the transistor, whatever the signal is, the supply voltage, all that. Um, so in any case, uh, usually this is a 10K resistor. Helps set that voltage. That's uh, kind of uh, universal. But in any case, uh, who knows what the load is, whatever the load you need. And the main thing is, though, you have a certain voltage you want to put across that load. You have something that's coming up with that voltage, uh, but for whatever reason, it cannot provide the power. And it's okay that it's 0.6 volts less because of the base 2 emitter drop uh, right there. Um, so, in any case, that is uh, kind of an overview of this quick uh, schematic for an emitter follower. And the power needed to power the load comes from the supply there. So you got to make sure uh, the power supply can provide the load and that. But in any case, there you go. So now, we're going to go over an important topic to keep in mind whenever you're using an NPN bipolar junction transistor. You can see here, we can go to uh, both supply voltages. And um, so a lot of times you need a resistor to protect the uh, transistor and other circuitry. But uh, since we're using the NPN bipolar junction transistor, we don't have to worry about the positive supply from the collector going to the base. That's not the way it works. It's uh, made to direct current like this uh, from the collector to the emitter there. Um, the base though does uh, provide uh, power current from base to emitter there. So that's when you have to worry about uh, short sometimes. So if uh, we can go to ground, no problem. Doesn't go that way. We go all the way to the positive five volts there. We can make a direct connection to the base because uh, you can see the emitter here, we have a load uh, going to ground and then the optional 10K resistor as well. Um, so in any case, we don't have a short circuit because we have a load in the way. So now finally in this series of short, we have uh, the emitter follower there using an NPM bipolar junction transistor. The voltage I set with the trim pot gets transferred to the um, LED load right there, LED and 220 ohm resistor, but it's about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts less. And uh, so yeah, basic trim pot right there. We get the output voltage. And um, so there's the uh, red LED, we'll zoom in a little bit so that you can see that. Uh, I'll push this down. So yeah, emitter down there, coming to the long lead, the anode of the red LED, short lead the cathode, the 220 ohm resistor. Now you see at the uh, long lead, the anode, there's also the 10 uh, K resistor. So that just helps make sure you get that voltage uh, transfer. Cause sometimes the uh, like LED voltage drop or something might mess things up. And um, so, then we have the uh, collector, of course, to the positive supply, which is what actually provides the power to light the LED. 